me see. Peace, peace, peace. What's good? What's good? What's good? So, Stacy Douglas, you are black in the building. Okay, I got you. Deanna Stevens. All right. Miss Phaedra Nelson. What's good? All right. Malachi, what's happening? Matthew, what's happening? What's good? All right, um, we want to talk about, we want to talk about the Black Power Awards. All right, where's my Black Power Award? Let me see if I can find my, where's my Black Power Award? It's probably on my, uh, it's probably on my, uh, what's the name? My, uh, my altar. But the Black Power Awards, wow. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in one second. I'm going to wait for this thing to build. Um, Amir Bay, what's good? Reality, peace, what's happening? All right. So the people on Facebook, you ain't, you're not digging my Black Power Awards backdrop because I got the green screen up and I'm making it pop on YouTube. But yeah, seven, what's good, man? You're seven. Come on, bro. Can we make this happen or what? Give me a call. Sherb, what's happening? All right. Black Revolts, Hotep. It's good, man. All right. So, um... We have to talk about the Black Power Awards, and I want to start this this quick discussion that we need to have, asking some basic questions. And what I need for everyone to do is, if you're typing it, type it. And if you're typing it and communicating on YouTube, do that. But if you are um, if you are um, on Facebook Live, I need you to type it in so you so I can get some feedback so I can know what's happening. All right. All right, um, hmm, I'm hearing my printer go off, so I'm going to wait for that. All right, cool. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so, um, the Black Power Awards. This is the second annual Black Power Awards happening um, this weekend coming in Atlanta, Georgia. All right? Okay. 17th, 18th. If you want to hang around for the 19th just to see the different people that's in town on their way back out of town, whatever, whether you're doing brunch, lunch, or whatever it is, by all means, be my guest. All right? Um, so... We're going to have something very special on uh, Friday, November 17th. Of course, we got to shout out the committee uh, that put this together along with DJ. All right. Um, the second annual. Now, I understand the committee's been meeting for almost uh, close to a year putting this together. They've invested a lot of energy, resources, time, and they should be applauded for taking on this monumental task. All right, so we could just give a series of thumbs up to them right on across the board. That would be a beautiful thing, uh, especially here on Facebook. All right. Okay. So shout out to all of those brothers and sisters that participated in pulling this thing off. Now, listen, just from the rip for this particular discussion, as a matter of fact, for any other discussion I have from this point on, if you are on the sidelines doing no work, do not criticize the people that are working. All right. If you're not doing any work, who are you to sit back and criticize the people that are doing the work? All right? So, let's understand this from the depth of us coming from what we came from. Now, those of y'all, when we start getting into these definitions and they start explaining things, if this doesn't fit you, don't wear it on your sleeve. You can easily click off. All right? All right. 
So now, the whole idea of an award show just in general, all right? So let's look at the fact that for a brother to have an idea and that idea germinate, all right, and he brings it to life by communicating like-minded people to come together to form a committee to pull together Jay uh, Morrison, who's going to be talking about uh, real estate, who's going to... Uh, um, um, Professor Smalls, Zoe Williams, uh, Rick Mathis, myself, Professor Griff, um, a lot of people that's going to be coming together, um, uh, people that's going to be coming together talking about different things, um, and Wally Moo Davis and other people hosted by, um, um, my good brother, <laughs> in which he always does a good job, um, my man David Banner has always been one of those kind of electrifying kind of brothers. It has a certain kind of magnetism, so I could see why him and Saw Rock set it off, and then now he's coming back. Um, so it's a beautiful thing. The whole idea of us coming together to do something for ourselves in the way we do it for ourselves, it shows a degree of self-determination. All right? Mind you now, if you're doing no work, all right, the whole idea of you sitting back criticizing somebody that work, oh, that's a hell of a thing, man. So, no. Come off the sidelines, put your pom-poms down and, and take off your cheerleading skirt and get on in the game and kind of make a difference and make it happen. All right? All right, hold on for a second. Hold on one second. Uh, okay. I'm going to say this again. Um, um, if you are not Peace Queen, how are you? Glad you joined us. I'm trying to navigate this YouTube thing. Of course, you know it has to have a pristine connection. And uh, a lot of times it just does it. All right. So yeah. Um, okay. All right. So just from the rip, let me start over for the people that did not get it. If you're of the that ilk that claim to be sovereign or claim to be indigenous or claim to be whatever, all right, to come on here and have that conversation, nah. So if I do have the ability. To block you, kick you off, slap you upside the head, whatever it is I got to do to get you off here, that's what's going to happen. Uh, we're not here to have that conversation. If you are, when we start talking about the Black Power Awards, if you want to have an Indigenous Power Awards, then by all means be my guest. If you want to have a Native American Power Awards, then y'all get together and y'all do whatever y'all do. This is the Black Power Awards. And if you don't identify with that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you moving on down the road some way to do whatever it is um, that you do. All right. Um, I say that and I have to say that simply because there are people that just will never get it. All right. Because I don't really don't think they want to get it. So I think um, I think the people that want to get it. All right. Um, yeah, you printing something? Yeah. Um, I think they'll, they'll, they'll understand where we're going with this simply because if we're the original people, we're the original people, all right? If we're the indigenous people, um, on the planet, then regardless of where we are, we're indigenous. And I think that speaks to, um, to any and all of us, all right, that, that have this kind of, um, nation building kind of mindset. It's going to take a certain kind of nation-building mindset to do this. So if you're coming on to create and cause division, then this may not this may not be the place. 
All right? So, um, but if you have that sickness and that disease where you find yourself always in conflict, you may have what Bobby Wright called, you might have a racist person personality. All right? You may, you may be one of those kind of individuals that's so sick in the head that nobody can help you. I don't care where you are on this, on this part of the continent or the planet or any other part. Um, no one will accept you anywhere. All right? So for me to say, um, for me to say that I am uh, black, I'm talking about the essence of everything in existence. I'm not talking about anybody's dictionary and how they want to define us. Uh, we're self-determining and defining people. No one has the right or the ability or the wherewithal or the clout or the push, the pull or the authority to uh, tell us who we are. All right. So if you want to go by subtitles and whatever other titles that you want to go by, uh, by all means, be my guest and you are welcome to do that. But we start talking about uh, the black dark matter called substance. Substance called melanin, pardon me. And then we're talking about um, the womb of the universe. We're talking about the womb of any and every universe and galaxy that you could possibly come from. Even the sacred womb of your mother. We're talking about black. Now, if we could say that in a different language, then I don't know how many languages you speak, then say it in the language that you say it in. All right, but we're the original people everywhere you go on the planet. Just because you've grown up and you add a diapers now and you off your mom's breast and you want to read a dictionary, which is considered the black law dictionary, and that I don't understand. You claim that you're not black, but you're this, that, and the other, but you're reading a black law's dictionary. All right, we have some fools and some idiots right now on YouTube, all right, that are saying this right as we speak. Um, Right now, so when we talk about the Black Power Awards, if you don't identify with being black, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You can go down the road somewhere. We don't, we don't, we don't mind you not you not sitting with us. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? We don't mind if you don't identify with us. But if I'm black, then I'm the original Asiatic black man. I'm the original Asian man. I'm the original black African man, all right? Uh, I was there before the European was there in that part of the world. Uh, I was here before what y'all claim to be Native American because I was and am the Native American. So I think that argument is a very childish um, kind of argument, and I think a lot of people that are still having an argument need to look past themselves, all right? And start relying on white people for the definition of, of who and what you are. Alright? All of our elders have came and sacrificed their lives to tell us and explain to us uh, who we are. But because there's been a new dictionary written, I guess the dic that dictionary is supposed to define who and what we are. And we're supposed to act as such. I just can't do that. Not at all. So, if we are... Uh, um, who we say we are, then by all means, by all means, DJ has the right to stand up and pull a committee together with a determined idea to pull together and produce a Black Power Awards. All right? Okay. To get more information on now. Salam alaikum. Well, salam, brother. Brother DJ, producer of the Black Power Awards, is a guest tonight, 6 p.m. on the Mind and Money Matters radio show. Call 641-552-8720. 641-552-8720. Call in, participate, listen, ask the brother some questions. All right? So if we are, and if we can't get past an artificial title or label that your open enemy have put on you to use to divide us, then, yeah, I would suggest DJ have security at the door and he just kind of let people know that you're not invited. Because trust me, if you come up in there with that, yeah, you'll definitely get put out if I'm there. Plain and simple. All right? Um, so this is the Black Power Awards. All right? So when we start talking about power in and of it, 
self. We have to start determining, all right, power, how to regain power. And you know, the whole idea of power, if you got knowledge of self and you have like-minded people coming together to carve out our own destiny, all right, then power is never given to anyone. Power is never given to anyone. It's always, power is always taken by the people, all right? So we have to be able to determine our own uh, destiny, all right? We have to control our own destiny, our own outcome. We cannot do, do that if we allow other people to define us. All right, so black power. What does black power mean to you is the question I want to put out there. What does black power mean to you? All right? What does black power mean to you? That's the first question I want to ask. Let's start with power. What does power mean to you? And do we have power? If in a few years we're not on a, a social networking medium, such as the two that we're on now, if we don't control our own, then how is it that we claim we have power? We want to communicate with the masses of our people, but we're on a medium controlled by people that may not want to see us rise. All right, Elijah Muhammad said we need eight to ten states that we can call our own. All right? And it's on the back of the final call newspaper, what Muslims want and what Muslims believe. All right? And you can find it in different doctrines, all right, in different programs from different people. So I think it's a beautiful thing that we come together, all right, um, and we're determined to have eight to ten states that we can call our own, self-determining people. All right, that we can be in a um, that we can be in a um, in a land that we can call our own, growing our own food, feeding our ourselves. Now, if you've never tried to bring 10, 15 people together to put an event together, all right, uh, to move people in such a way where you can put uh, doing event and, and pull people together to to get something accomplished, oh, it's a very, 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 very difficult task, alright? So, I, it's a, and it's a very difficult task to to pull people together, to pull something off for the greater good, not necessarily uh, for the individuals. Alright? So, if if we are to forever gain the necessary power that we will need to um to move beyond this dependency, and this codependency on our open enemy to feed us. We're absolutely not going to get anywhere if we keep relying on someone else to feed and clothe us. All right? I just think that's a basic kind of... Yeah, Rick Mathis, peace was good, man. I think it's a basic... It's a basic concept when we start talking about economics. When we start talking about self-preservation... When we start talking about um, some of the things that we need in order to stay alive. So I think that we need to determine first who we are, where we are, and all that, all that we ought to be in this world, as France Fanon has given us. And then I think we need to study the work of those uh, peace. What's up, Jessica? Um, I think we need to look at all of those elders and those ancestors that came before us that have had this conversation before. So I think it's very imperative and it's a very necessary thing that we need to do in order to make this happen. All right? Um, but the first thing is we need to figure out how are we, how are we able to maneuver ourselves in a position to even pull off a black power awards. Now, the amount of people that's going to participate like the King Simons of the world and the Professor Smalls and Zoe Williams and, uh, and other people. Um, uh, I think it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. I think it's a beautiful thing simply because I would love to be, and I've, and I've all, and I am at, you know, right now, um, part of something that's a lot larger, um, than myself. All right. So I think it's very, 
real. It, it was, it, let me talk past tense. It's very, it was very surreal all right, to be in a place where it's controlled by black people, awards given to black people to uplift black people. Just the mere fact that we're letting children see that we're awarding and rewarding one another, you know, on that level. Um, I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, we need to show young people that. All right. We need to show young people the cohesiveness. We need to show people the unity. We need to show people um, um, that we can actually come together and do something as a collective people with a collective with a collective mindset. All right. I think we need to do that. I think we need to allow people, young people, to see that, wow, they can get away and they're not, they still partying and hanging out and doing their thing. There's still food there. There's still music there. There's still entertainment there. But we're honoring one another. All right? In the name of all of those ancestors, in the name of, uh, yeah, you're right, Freddie, uh, love, love, loving each other and honoring one another is something that young people rarely see with us. Now, I know we're battling this whole idea of social media. Um, so I think that we need to kind of embrace the 150,000 shades of who and what we are as a people. So I think we need to... Uh, kind of embrace all of whom we are. If you came to my family reunion, yeah, you might see every different shade uh, on the planet. You understand what I'm saying? And I think and I think that's a very real uh, statement, so to speak, um, to make, especially talking to this audience that I'm talking to now, because in all our family reunions, we got some everybody looking like, looking like, um, some of everything and i think this is a very real this is a very real dynamic in which we're dealing with because of what happened to black people um in our sojourn um here in the wilderness of north america all right so i think it's a very i think it's a very real thing i think it's a very uh beautiful thing that dj um, has come together to pull off all right so it's one of those kind of situations where, of course, at any given point, we need to take our hats off. But we need to come to some conclusions about the past, who and what we are in the present in order for us to move, in order for us to move uh, forward. All right. So we need to do that immediately. All right. We need to do that immediately before we before we move um, any further, and I think it's a very real. I think it's a very real dynamic. All right. So now, why is there a need for a Black Power Awards? Y'all tell me. I'm gonna give y'all a few minutes. All right. Why would there be even? Why would there be a need for a Black Power Awards? Let me let me get some water real quick. Those are your brothers out there that have um, family members. All right. I'm sure you would like for your children to see you uh, award, reward, pay homage to, um, um, not only pay homage to, but you show respect, honor, love, and appreciation for your mom, right? For your mate. So I'm sure you want your children to see that you're showing this kind of um, reverence 
to your mate. It's beautiful for the children to see that on so many levels. I didn't necessarily agree with the agenda of Barack Obama. But as far as the aesthetics are concerned, seeing a black couple in a black family in that kind of power position uh, was a beautiful thing. And it did something for young black men, I mean, young black children across the country. And we have to kind of look at it for exactly what it is. I'm, we may not agree with everything. We may not agree with everything that happened at the Black Power Awards. All right? So listen, if you want to attend the Black Power Awards or you want to sponsor someone that's already here in Atlanta or you want to get a group of people together to drive here, call this number 404-439-1044. 404-439-1044. Right, or go to blackpowerawards.com. Blackpowerawards.com. Let me say this. If you are not attending the Black Power Awards, but you have a platform such as mine where you're reaching people, all right, why don't we do ourselves a favor for, for once, all right? Why don't we promote the Black Power Awards, even though we're not going to be there? Let's try something new. Rather than hating and throwing jabs and all this other kind of stuff, let's just show our open enemy that we're going to put our energy and our efforts behind this brother and the committee that he put together to, uh, to support the Black Power Awards. When Rick Mathis came out with the first film, I don't give a damn whether I was in the film or not. That's a good brother. He's doing something good for the community. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I supported it. Um, how many times you've heard me, even though y'all might not think that uh, I'm, I'm in the corner of, of people like Tariq Nasheed and other people, or people on a private level will tell you how many times I've promoted Hidden Colors and, and, and things that's a lot larger than Professor Griff that will advance our people. We just have to, I may not agree with everything. Hell, I may not agree with him. You understand what I'm saying? But how many times have people called me personally on the phone and says, yo, where can I start to get a basic knowledge? So I said, well, have you seen Hidden Colors? Have you seen Out of Darkness? Have you seen Rick Mathis's film, Black Friday? Have you seen any of these things? So, um, we got to be able to find it within ourselves to kind of look beyond ourselves hell it don't it don't stop and start at professor griff <laughs> you understand what i'm saying and we have to look at we have to look at that dynamic and look at it for exactly what it is plain plain and simple that's just 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 real and i think that that shows growth and maturity um on all of our parts but because you're not going to be there, but you got a platform of hundreds of thousands of people and millions of people come to your platform. Why not say, okay, well, yeah, I'll just, I'm going to support it, pass it on, make it happen. Maybe you could be saving someone's life. All right. Um, and I just think that's a real thing, plain and simple. Um, I think it's so real. It shows maturity without even you doing too much. <laughs> All right, so I think whatever hang up Professor Griff had for the larger and greater good of us as a community of people wanting the community of people to move forward. All right, I think I need to move myself out of the way and kind of let it happen. All right, and um, and I think all of us collectively need to beat back some of the people with the lip service. All right, plain and simple. Um, yes, I do think there needs to be a, a, a drop squad. Yes, I do think there need to be a council of elders. But until we put those things in place, then we have to deal with the people on an individual level and deal with them as, as when we find them and when we see them and we find out who these people are, just kind of deal with them. But collectively speaking, all right, we're not gonna we're not gonna play a hate and play the next man uh out of position but because uh um darren i mean pardon me dj can can maneuver people and get people in place so that the uh, all of us can um hold on all of us can benefit from the black power awards hell we don't know we don't know all the people that's going to benefit from the black from the Black Power Awards. We just need to, we need to kind of deal with it 
Deal with it as such, plain and simple. Someone may come in, someone may hear this, and come in and sit in the audience and learn something that may, that may, that may save their life. And I think we need to understand that. All right? And I just think that's a real, that's a real manly, grown-up thing to do. All right? So um, I will be speaking Friday, November 17th at 2.30. Um, and you can go to my uh, Facebook page and get the, uh, the flyer. You can go to www.blackpowerawards.com and see the lineup and the list of who's speaking when and where. Um, you can call 404-439-1044. This is the Black Power Awards. The Black Power Awards. All right. If there's any other award ceremony or event that you would like to see happen, like I said at the beginning of this broadcast, you probably got to create your own. And guess what? We ain't mad at you. Create your own. All right. Let me tell you, just from the rip, if you are uh, part of the 150,000 Shades of Black, all right, and you're doing something positive to uplift out people, then yeah, I, I'm, I'm open to talk about it on the platform and, uh, and help promote and do what we have, we have to do in order to make it happen. All right, plain and simple. And I think all of us should be that way. But it seems like we've got this tribalism going on. All right? We're but because you may have an event that's going on over here, and they may, I may not agree with the totality of what's happening with what you're doing with your event. That means I can't promote it. Now, there's just certain things I'm just not going to promote. I'm going to let you, I'm going to take a drink of water on that. <laughs> All right. There's just some things I'm just not going to promote. And I think we need to, we, we need to understand that. All right, so Ron Green was peace. What was good, man? Peace was good. Um, so I think let's now begin to um to start thinking. I mean, and it, and it's nothing wrong with that. It's it's nothing wrong with thinking beyond yourself. Let me ask y'all a question. What did you do this week? Hell, it's only it's Monday. So last week, what did you do last week that wasn't directly, that you didn't benefit directly from it, that you did something for someone else? Let's think about these things, all right? Other than you kicking up dust on people's YouTube channels or Facebook page, what, what did you do that was a lot larger than yourself? What did you do for someone else and you know it wasn't going to benefit you, but you helped them succeed? All right. What did you put up on your Facebook page or your YouTube channel or, or uh, Instagram that was positive that you know it wasn't for you, but it was meant for someone else in a positive way and it was going to benefit someone else? All right. If we're going to undo what uh, the Willie Lynch chip has done to us and is still doing to us, all right, when are we going to begin doing this? All right, I'm speaking directly to some people that are on here right now. All right, we have to be able to kind of work and move beyond who and what we think we are. This is a lot larger than Professor Griff. All right, if the creator contacted DJ and said, Listen, we might need young people to see an award. Now, listen, the man set something in motion that will probably outlive him. All right. The least we can do is set a firm foundation for young people that's coming behind him. All right. Okay. Let, let's 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 understand that. All right. So if it's going to be it's one of those situations where it's a lot larger than than him, then I say by all means 
by all means let's support the brother in, in what he's doing it's the black power awards it's not the dj power awards all right so i'm going to be speaking 2 30 on friday november 17th at 2 30 at the sheraton atlanta downtown that's the sheraton downtown atlanta 165 Cortland Street, Atlanta, Georgia. The phone number to call is 404-439-1044. It's limited seats for vendors and limited seating, period. So we need you to call 404-439-1044. All right, that's the Sheraton, Atlanta, downtown. All right, 165 Cortland Street, downtown Atlanta. Of course, you'll know that the Black Power was the entire uh, weekend. All right. So we're going to need you to jump on it right now. All right? <laughs> right now. Um, Tony Lyric Lady Fields. What's up? Hold up. You're invited, Tony. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. So I'm still waiting on the answers to my question. What is power? Can somebody give me a, a definition of power? All right, what is power? And why does it seem like everyone else have the power? Asalaamu As Alaikum, Khalil Muhammad. What is power? Come on now, talk to me. Power is control. Okay, give me something a little bit more in depth. Uh, Jermaine Carter said power is control. Lawrence Law Warrell says power is strength in the form of influence. Susie Weaver said energy. Okay, power is the ability to do what? The ability to do. Okay. Hmm. Power is self-sufficient. I'll go with all these definitions. Power is the ability and resource to define one's own reality. It's beautiful. All right. The ability to do something and act in a particular way, especially facility and quality. All right. The ability to make declaration and enforce it. Archeria Bell. Okay, cool. If that is the case, then, do black people have the power? All right. Do we have the power to have take small monumental steps to put certain things in place. Jay said power is truth. Uh, C says the ability to control mostly uh, via force. Dwayne Jordan says power is, the organized social act is organized social activity. Okay. So do we have the power? Because you know, you know what they say about black people. Black people can't do nothing right. Isn't this what they say? Black pe people can't do nothing right. So we're taking on the awesome task of not only having the ability and the power to do something right, but to do it in such a way where we can put something in place, um, something in place to pass this down to our children's children's children. All right. We should be in a position, uh, in a position where we show young people. All right. So let's 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 understand this particular dynamic and what it's worth. All right. Power. Okay. Now for the critical question. <laughs> Let me say this before people start hanging up on me. I'll be speaking Friday. This Friday coming at 2 30. That's Friday, November 17th. At the Sheraton Atlanta downtown 165 Cortland Street. I want to be able to decode and then encode the psychic mind fuck. Right, I'm going to say that again. I want to be able to decode the psychic mind fuck and then get to a point where we start encoding some of these things that you're going to need. All right. In order to psychically 
be move beyond all right the mind fuck all right now those of y'all with sensitive ears y'all may not want to come we're not handing out barf bags at the door all right this is just straight up up front being real and talking to people that need to be talked to all right if you already got that lesson then you might not need to show up all right i'm not putting it on youtube it's not going to be on facebook all right now most of what i do is relatively free all you got to do is click on but have you ever stopped to think well damn the brother is on here every other day giving us valuable information can i at least donate five dollars or something to go to www.professorgriff.me look right on the uh on the right hand side click the donate button all right ain't nothing wrong with that since i'm sure you've benefited from something i've said all right um i i've seen people uh that have benefited from what i've said and what i've done and then turn around and i go to their youtube channel or their page and i listen to them and they're using my stuff but fa fail to even say here's a food stamp here's a captain crunch coupon here's some damn advice here's a dollar here's something y you understand what i'm saying uh it is beyond disrespect you're right lawrence we need to support our people regardless whether it's whether it's a uh, a monthly donation or just one donation or, or or taking this copying it and pasting it somewhere where people can get the information to come to the black power awards all right all right so go to www.blackpowerawards.com phone number to call is 404-439-1044 there's at least one two three four let me see one two three four five six seven eight uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 speakers that's speaking this Friday. How are you not going to take off work and, and be there? Stop that. There's no other place in the world you're going to see this much brain power and this much talent in one building speaking. That's 165 Cortland Street, downtown Atlanta at the Sheraton, Atlanta, downtown. All right, www.blackpowerawards.com, 404-439-1044. That's this Friday, November 17th, starting at 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. All right? Now, see, it's easy to donate to me if some of y'all claiming that y'all can't find it on my page. Everybody got my phone number, 678-557-2919. All right? And we need to kind of... Look at it and say, okay, you know something? Yeah. We need to kind of, we, we need to kind of um, support. However you can support, all right? If you're really feeling bad about lending your support openly and you don't want your white friends to know or your Negro friends to know that you support the Black Power Awards, then do it in private. Do it quietly. All right, if you see me walking, just take a $100 bill or something, crumble it up, give me some dap and put it in my hand. I don't mind that. All right, go to W. You ain't got to, if you don't want it on your computer, you don't have to go to www.blackpowerwars.com. When you see DJ, just hit him off. Do, write the check right now. Put it in the envelope where nobody can see it. Fold it up in some aluminum foil so nobody can detect it. All right, pass it off to him. If you're not going to go, but you really want to go, but you can't go, I because you got a white girlfriend or something, and she don't want you going anything black, then sponsor somebody else to go. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right? Sponsor someone else to go. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, so we are looking into the whole idea of putting these concepts together. A beautiful thing that DJ has done and pulled the committee together to do it. Black, which is the essence to all things, <laughs> not just the color, 
but it's the essence to all things. And even in, when you want to refer to it as the color, it's the original color. It's the essence of all colors, all right? But black, the whole idea of it is a lot deeper, all right? And then the other concept is power, putting that together. Black power is more than a black fist in the air, red, black, and green flag. It's, it's a lot deeper than that, all right? Black power goes beyond most of our imagination, all right? Um, most of us that criticize, uh, hold on, you Yep. All right. We didn't understand the concept, all right, of, and we didn't need the concept of, of uh, black power when those other people weren't here, all right. Oh, hold on a second. Let me answer this person. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we didn't need this concept of black power when we were the only people here because we already understood that. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I think some people are under the illusion and have this fantasy kind of thing going on that back in Africa when the other people weren't even here, we didn't have conflict, we didn't have differences, we didn't have tribal conflict and disputes. We didn't have these things. We had all of those things. <laughs> we, we, we had all of those things. The depth in which our open enemy came in and exploited those things is a whole nother question. All right? i.e. slavery versus indentured servitude, all right? That's a whole different kind of beast, man. Uh, it's just a whole different monster. All right, let me just put it that way. And I think we need to understand uh, the concept as, as, as such because it's just, whoo, it's deep. All right, hold on one second. Let me try to... All right, so let's let's understand this whole idea of black and power coming together in 2017, having to. Yes, we do have power. We have, we have made an effective change before. We are still more capable. Some of us need a reminder of who we are and a reminder of the capabilities as a people, and the power. And our awakening, but we are still those powerful people. We are still warriors, kings, queens, prophets, creators, leaders, and can I add, Tony, gods and goddesses. All right? We're all of those things, all right, including gods and goddesses. And let's just be, let's just be real about the whole thing. This is who and what we are as a people. All right? So let's just, you know, let's just be real with it. It's just who and what we are as a people. That was from Tony Lyric Lady Fields. Um, I think we we need to understand all that the sister just said to us. Uh, we're all of that. All of that is still in us um, as a people. We just need to recognize it and be bold enough to pass that down to our children. All right, we need to restore the Nubian Kush power. Exactly, we can go through the whole chronology of black people's sojourn uh, ever since we've been on the planet, all right? And we can outline some of the things uh, that we need, all right? Which is a beautiful thing. Not only Kush, but all the, the empires that we've ruled, all right? So black power, but the question now becomes, what does black power mean to you? All right. What does black power mean to you? I know what it means to me. All right. The question should be asked now. What does black power mean to you? All right. 
And that's just that's a real question we, that you need to ask for yourself. All right. What does black power mean to you? All right. And let's and let's look at it in a very real um, in a very real kind of way. All right. Black power is. As a matter of fact, someone look at Wade Nobles. All right. Wade Noble's definition of what power is. And maybe that'll give us a better insight. All right. Maybe that's will give us a better insight on this whole idea of black power. Wade Nobles. I'm looking for someone to to furnish me with this definition. Wade Nobles. Power. What does Wade Nobles say about power? And then I wonder where was the any of these dictionaries that so comfortably define us now? Where were these dictionaries then when we were ruling the Kush Empire? All right. It says, the essence of power is the ability to define someone else's reality and make them live according to that definition as it was their, their own definition and their own choosing. Dr. Wade Nobles. Thank you, Deanna Stevens. Really appreciate that. See, if we sit at this, this, kneel at the feet of the elders and stand on the shoulders of the ancestors, we will be able to define who and what we are. We will be able to define, even using the bastard language called English, we will be able to define and, and uh, our struggle, all right? Um, and then not define our struggle and repackage it in a very more palatable kind of aesthetics. No, we have to deal with it for exactly for what it is, all right? So once again, uh, Brother DJ, the producer of the Black Power Wars, he's going to be a guest on the Mind and Money Matters radio show tonight at 6 p.m., Call 641-552-8720. 641-552-8720. That's 641-552-8720. Tonight at 6 o'clock. All right. Matthew said black power equals self-sufficient. But are black people in America self-sufficient is, is the question that we need to ask. All right. That is the question that we need to ask. And it's a very beautiful question, very real question, all right? Um, if you want to know um, any of the details about my particular talk, um, deconstructing and decoding the, um, the psychic mind fuck, all right? Call me at 678-557-2919, all right? That's 678-557-2919 nine and we can kind of dive into hold on a second we can kind of dive into the um and we can go in further on what this this whole Right. Okay. All right. So, anybody else have anything to add? If you're in the ATL or you're coming this way, uh, I need y'all to give me a call at six seven eight five five seven two nine one nine. I'll be at the uh, the Sheraton downtown, Atlanta at one sixty five, Cortland at two thirty. I'm speaking. All right. If you get there two thirty five, I'll already be started. So, yeah, you determine what you want to do. All right. All right. I got three more minutes in the bewitching hour. What up, Griff? How you doing? I'm doing all wise and civilized intelligent understanding. How you doing, Antonio C. Maddox? All right. Um, well, brothers and sisters, um, every Wednesday night, of course, we y'all already know, we do the study group every Wednesday night. All right. So save your chump change. 
join the study group. Go to www.professorgriff.me. All right, connection has timed out. Please try again. But www.professorgriff.me. Sign up for the study group. All right, it's only $17 a month. All right, Chica Akua. Peace, man. What's good? All right. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit later on this, this week, Chica. We're going to make some things happen for 2018. All right. Um, uh, www.professorgriff.me if you want to join the study group. Every Wednesday night from 8 to 10, we kneel at, uh, at the feet of the elders and we stand on the shoulders of the ancestors to piece apart this information, all right, so that we can gain and regain a knowledge of self on becoming who and what the creator has created us to be. I'm just a facilitator. I, I'm not the one to determine whether or not you get knowledge of self. That is strictly and entirely up to you. All right? And entirely up to you. You can call me at 678-557-2919. Um, let me see. Hold on one second. Um, yeah, we're live, so it should be doing what it do. Um, okay. Any more questions? Shalom, Nat Murphy. You know, I get all kind of people on here and different people coming on with different greetings from different persuasions. See, that don't bother me. It's a beautiful thing to see where we are. If all of us are trying to get to seven, but Nat is, is, is using five and two, it's still seven. Chica, of course, is using one and six is still seven. Kimberly Bolton is using four and three. It's still seven. I'm using seven and zero. It's still seven. You understand what I'm saying? Whether you're Hebrew and you're trying to get to seven, same thing. RBG trying to get to seven, same thing. All right. Um, in the other persuasions, you indigenous, you are more, you trying to get to seven. Don't mean nothing to me here. I'll see you on your path. If our paths cross, beautiful thing. If not, I'll see you when we get there. But I ain't, I'm not mad at you. I just see you when you get there, plain and simple. All right? I'm not trying to stop other people to stop you from getting there because at the end of the day, we all look alike to them other people. You understand what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. But anyway, it's Professor Griff. I, I am because we are, therefore I am. There's no big I and little you. Follow what I'm saying? Um, it's everything for everyone and nothing for ourselves. I love y'all to life. This is Professor Griff for RNTV Radio and TV. All right, it's Professor Griff from Serious Minds Institute. All right, um, I'd like to say peace to everyone. Thanks for joining me this hour. I hope y'all got it. I hope y'all pulled something from it. This is Professor Griff, I'm signing out. Yeah, son, you know about that, that lock right there. I don't wanna say peace uh, to my queen, Soleil. Love you to life and uh yeah my makeshift lock right there. <laughs> anyway, I love you all to life. Peace, Professor Griff. I am Audi 5G.